Hello students. So moving on to question number 49 from the code D. In this question, we have been given that we require a capacitance of 2 microfarad such that it can withstand a potential difference of 1 kilo volts. That is nothing but equals to 1000 volts. But for that, in this case, I have only a one a lot of number of one microfarad capacitors which are available in plenty, but they can withstand only a maximum of 300 volts potential difference. Using these one microfarad capacitors, I need to come up with a capacitance of a required capacitance of two microfarads which can withstand a potential difference of 1000 volts. So let us assume now we have to and, and also we have to use a minimum number of one microfarad capacitors. So let us assume I take m capacitors of 1 microfarads in each row and I use such n rows to complete my entire circuit. Now the entire capacitance of this must come out to be equal to 2 microfarads. Now analyzing one single branch for this purpose, I know that one of my capacitors that is of 1 microfarad capacitance can only withstand a potential difference of maximum up to 300 volts. So this entire thing, the entire row must withstand a capacitance of 1000, uh, 1000 volts. So my M into 300, that is one of my capacitance can withstand 300. So using M such capacitance, the net of the net, uh, with net potential difference, this branch can withstand should be greater than 1000. This is the first condition that I have. This implies my M must be greater than 10 by 3. And since I have to use my minimum number of capacitors, this M must attain a value which is equal to 4. So I must have 4 capacitors of 1 microfarad in each of these rows in order to withstand 1000 volts in across this circuit. Now please note that my M is equal to 4 only because I need to use the minimum number of capacitors. I can increase this value of M by 5, 6, 7 and it would still withstand the 1000 volts potential difference which is across, which is applied across these points. Let us name these points for A and B as A and B. Uh, so my M has to be equals to 4 for minimum number of capacitors. Now this is the number of capacitor that must be in one branch. Now let us calculate the equivalent capacitance of four capacitors each of one microfarad capacitance. So I know that capacitors would be capacitance would be equals to C0 by 4 because four of them are connected in series. So that is nothing but equals to 0.25 microfarad. So the capacitance of one this one single branch is nothing but 0.25 microfarad. Now what I need is a capacitance which is equals to 2 microfarad and all these are connected in parallels. And hence it's very simple in order to get 2 I need to multiply this thing by a number n which must bring out 2 microfarads. If you solve this my n comes out to be 8. So 8 such branches needs to be kept in parallel in order to achieve a capacitance of 2 microfarads. So the problem was broken down into two things. First I calculated the maximum potential difference across each branch which it can withstand and then I needed to find out the total capacitance so I just multiplied that by number of n in order to find 2 microfarads. Now the total number of such branches is 8 and the number of capacitance in each branch is nothing but equals to 4. So the total number of capacitors of capacitance 1 microfarad required would be nothing but m cross n which is equal to 32. So I hope you were able to understand what this question was and how the solution was made. If you like our solution, please subscribe to our channel and hang on to this link because we're going to upload more and more video solutions.